The standard cartooning process implies the addition of new aerodynamic parts, installments of extra turbochargers, and application of expressive paint schemes. Today, though, we'll show you a lineup of sports car models where workshops did not hold back and resculpted them beyond recognition, basically creating all new designs. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and stick around till the end to learn about some of the coolest custom-made high-performance autos of today. We start the engines now! Neil Van Roy Design Brad Van the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO had been created solely for homologation into the FIA's Group 3 Grand Touring Car category, and therefore it was not available for the private purchase. In opposition to this company policy, back in the day Count Giovanni Valpi hired an engineer Giotto Bizzarini to modify a 250 GT SWB competition into a one-of-a-kind aerodynamically superior unit that was eventually nicknamed Bradvan for its unorthodox shooting brake rear. The story of the Ferrari hearse was continued in 2021, when the Dutch design studio of Neil van Roeg created a one-off coach build to pay homage to this oddity. As a donor platform, they used a not less iconic Ferrari 550 Maranello produced between 1996 and 2001. This masterpiece kept the original's naturally aspirated 5.5-liter 65-degree V12 that makes 485 horsepower and 419 pound-feet, and in theory should do 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. It rides on Radestein Alltrack 40 tires, gets bespoke Coney shocks, and a handmade blue Alcantara and carbon fiber interior. Smith Aletha The C8 Roadster was manufactured by BMW from 2000 till 2003 and its design was Henrik Fisker's homage to the 1956 BMW 507. Since the lifetime of this unique car model was rather short, the Californian startup Smith Vehicle Engineering took it upon themselves to increase the population of this retro-futuristic cabrio. This model used the center pinnings of the first-generation Z4, though the 4.4-liter naturally aspirated V8 engine comes from an E92 M3 GTS. To achieve the claimed 450 horsepower, the mill gets forged internals and individual throttle bodies. It is paired with a six-speed manual transmission and a limited slip differential. Exterior-wise, this is undoubtedly a Z8 with the body fully crafted out of carbon fiber. The model gets a reshaped kidney grille, shaved bumpers, a new hood scoop and forged model block wheels. The latter are fitted with the AP Racing brakes and are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. RML Short Wheelbase Characterized as an engineering powerhouse, the UK RML Group specializes in discrete OEM consultancy, building new high-performance cars and continuation models, as well as restoring originals. This 30-unit exclusive project was developed by RML from the ground up. Its exterior styling takes us back to the classic 1959 Ferrari 250 GT short wheelbase, though of course the bodywork is performed in carbon fiber using modern methods. The 1990s Ferrari 550 Maranello serves as the chassis and engine donor for the model. Both get significant modifications. The wheelbase is shortened by 11 inches, and the 5.5-liter V12 is fitted with redesigned radiators, new air inlet, and cooling. Regardless of the changes, the mill still returns 484 horses, channeled by an 8-speed manual, to the rear wheels. Optionally, the RML short wheelbase can be equipped with an AC and a modern infotainment featuring Apple CarPlay. Aries Panther Progetto Uno Internationally known as a coach-building specialist, the Modena-based Aries design is steadily pivoting towards a fully-fledged automaker. Their first in-house developed supercar is appropriately labeled Progetto Uno. Its name and carbon fiber body pay homage to the 1970s De Tommaso Pantera, 
but the underpinnings come from a Lambo Huracan. The 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine transfers 650 horsepower to all four wheels through a 7-speed Troba DSG, and it breathes through a hand-built stainless steel exhaust. Aries is planning the first run of Panthers and the amount of 21, and those will demonstrate Lambo's fast 0-60 to acceleration of 3.1 seconds and 200 mph top speed. The Progetto Uno has been in production since 2019, and this year they rolled out a mid-cycle refresh for the model. It gets an H-pattern gear selector that looks and feels like a manual, a less restrictive valve-controlled X-pipe exhaust system, and a set of lighter billet aluminum wheels, 20 inch at the front and 21 at the rear. Do not think twice and smash the like button if you haven't already. We need your support like never before. Let's proceed. Aquas Throwback Aquas is a rather young Michigan automotive brand that has an ambitious goal to join the club of America's most popular custom workshops. They have made a name for themselves with a stunning muscle car with the classic looks labeled the base. The Throwback is their latest project, which rides on the chassis of the 7th generation Chevrolet Corvette but has an exclusive exterior design. The scoop is limited in production to 25 units and is advertised as a quintessential VAT. The vehicle adopts the basic lines of the Icon, but gives it a retro tune, adding a C3-like rear end and large fin-shaped impressions similar to the ones present in the original 1950s model. Performance-wise, the throwback offers a variety of drivetrains, with the strongest one offering 1000 HP and 822 pound-feet. It tops out at 220 mph and speeds to 60 and 2.5 seconds. Charge Cars Electric Mustang Getting your hands on a well-preserved 1960s Mustang is a tough enough task. But if you'd like it to be electric, then there are only 499 cars like this in the entire world. Created by the London-based Charge Cars, their Mustang is not exactly a resto mod, since it is not based on the original car. Instead, it is built using an officially licensed 1967 Mustang shell and core drivetrain components from a rival. The car is offered in the rear and all-wheel drive versions, with the maximum output of 536 horses and 1,106 pound-feet. The motors are spun by a 64-kWh battery pack that yields 200 miles of driving and can recharge at 50 kW. According to Charge, acceleration to 60 should take just 3.9 seconds and you'll be able to speed to 149 mph. The interior of this car can be customized according to the buyer's preferences. For example, one of the revealed units boasts gorgeous brown leather upholstery, bucket seats, and a digital driver's cluster by arrival. Mitsuoka Rockstar Some why the Japanese automobile brand Mitsuoka has a certain crush on classic American and British cars. Though for their roster includes a bunch of lookalikes to the icons of the Times Long Gone, which are underpinned by Japan's own bestsellers. In case of the Rockstar, it combines the chassis of the fourth-generation Mazda Miata and the exterior of the 1960s Corvette. For an untrained eye, the Roadster can be mistaken for a Corvette C2, though it gets tiny round headlights instead of the hidden units. There are also four circular taillights, arched fenders, and muscle car-style wheels with the BF Goodrich rubber. Further fascination with the American automotive culture is reflected in the color palette. The company offers 30 unique body paints, each named after an American city. Mechanically, the Rockstar is a good old Mazda MX-5, so the 1.5-liter Sky Active engine produces 132 horses, while the interior greets you with a Mazda's infotainment, a new leather trim, and a few added badges. Boltman CR4 
Boltzmann is a relatively new startup founded by famous sports car builder Friedrich Weissmann and a family duo of Harold and Michael Kuss. The name of their first project, CR4, stands for a carbon fiber roadster with over 400 horses. The model is built on the chassis of the BMW C4, but it is completely unrecognizable thanks to all new carbon fiber body panels. The front fascia looks more like a Nissan GTR. There are new headlights and a different grille. Wheel arches swell up and the rear gets redesigned taillights with the round light signature and four stainless steel exhaust pipes. The sports car's standard 3-liter turbo 6-cylinder is retuned to output 408 HP and 450 pound-feet, promising 0-60 to acceleration in less than 4 seconds. Its interior is wrapped in genuine leather or Alcantara and is trimmed in carbon fiber. Velux Fangio You'll never guess it, but under the skin of this extreme-looking sports car hides a Ferrari F12 from the early 2010s. The model, which to me exudes a Bugatti vibe, wears an all-new carbon fiber bodywork with a snowplow-like front splitter, a truly massive rear diffuser and a crescent-shaped rear wing. This arrow kit is a result of a three-year CFD research and it is specifically designed to maximize the car's aerodynamic properties. The model rides on the Le Mans prototype to spec select tires, its Ferrari's V12 is heated to 800 horses, and the car exhales through four stacked quarter-style exhaust pipes. In 2022, the Velux team plans to compete with this build in the FIA World Endurance Championship, but they also plan to release a 12-unit road legal run of the model. What do you think about today's custom sports car selection? Let's discuss the lineup in the comment section below and mention some other models that were missed. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News if you haven't already. More informative content is on the screen, just follow the links. As always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!